Eric, you've been given the reins of Aston Villa Football Club. Sure. It's the 1st of April. Are you worried? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I woke up this morning thinking that, I must admit, but I had, uh, had a little bit to get on me yesterday, so I'd forgotten about that until the radio this morning. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's see what happens. What, what are your plans today, then? Because you've got everybody back, I think, for the first yeah. time. What, what, what's, um, you're going to leave walk out of here in about 20 minutes. What are you going to do? Well, I mean, obviously, I had a, the group on Wednesday, which we had a little meeting. I then took the session on Wednesday, which I felt was a good response. Um, we've got all the players back on side today in terms of the international players. So we'll look to try and structure the team, uh, work on certain things and focus purely on uh, trying to get a result against Chelsea. There's been talk of the manager, the backroom staff only speaking French, alienation of the, of, of the players and you know, training hasn't been a happy experience for the players. I mean, what have, what have you seen? You've been here about five weeks. Is, is this stuff true? Or? Well, I think it's always difficult when you go into clubs and I think you could go to any dressing room and certainly in the circumstances that Anson Villa have been in, then I wouldn't expect it to be jumping the joy and everybody hugging each other. I never felt any splits, I've got to be honest. So all I can say is that in the time I've been here, I didn't feel any splits. I've seen splits in dressing rooms, whether it be from Scottish players, English players, Northern players, West, but whatever you like that. But when people are winning, those splits are not apparent um, and they're not even called splits. So that's not been aware, uh, not made me aware of that anyway. Um, so. what, what do you do from here on in then? You've got seven games. Yep. For all the world, Villa look gone. You know, even the chairman speaks in terms of looking next season to get back sure. up and stuff like that. I mean, what do you, what's the mindset? How do, you, how, do you, how do you lift anything? What do you do? Well, but we've got to try and change something because I said that to players on Wednesday. The atmosphere's been poor in regards to obviously everybody's about doom and gloom. Um, We've got to just take this next seven games and try and get some respect back into the club and certainly show the supporters to what it means uh, to the players. Um, I can't do that. I can help that process, but ultimately I won't be out in the field. So that'll be up to the players to, to show what it means to them. Um, so we've got seven games and seven very diff difficult games, but very competitive games. And as you rightly said, we're not down yet. Um, and I think the club now has to change direction.